Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it sure gives you the opportunity to fix those problems. Um, you know, it, there's only a handful of, of guys in the world with game-breaking ability when the game gets tight that they can create uh, something out of nothing. And, you know, there, there's only a handful of guys that, that have that type of skill. And, you know, he's one of them. He's on that short list. And at that time of year, when the games get tight and the checking gets tight, uh, you know, those difference makers are really important. Hey, Gary. How odd is it to get a player like this? Have all kinds of players in the like, your coach, you probably want someone who's handed you a bunch of clay and you'd like to get to, to work with it. you got to sit and wait. Yeah, well, you know, I, I think the fact that you know he's going to be here eventually, I, I think, uh, makes that easier. And, uh, you know, for us, we've got to take care of business in the moment. We can't spend a lot of time on that. Um, I actually talked to Jack, uh, very excited, but uh, he's got a, he's got a, quite a runway here before he's going to be available to play. Um, you know, and, and I, I, I have to mention the guys leaving. Um, loved uh, Krebs and, and Tuck as players, and even better people. I mean, Alex Tuck, what do, you, what do you say about him? Came into Vegas, what he's done both on the ice but off the ice in the community, charity, just, just a good man. And, and Krebs is going to be a really good player in this league for a long time. So two really good people leaving, and Buffalo's getting two really good, good players and good people. First, we'll go to Ben Goat for the Las Vegas Review Journal. Hey, Ben. Uh, you touched on it there. Just, I guess, what's kind of the balance of the reaction between you know the long-term excitement of getting Eichel versus the the short-term you're losing yet another player in Peyton Preps out of your lineup moving forward? Yeah, well, you know, it's like um, I, I I think. Uh, you, you can't look short term when you have an opportunity to get a difference maker. At, you know, this guy's 25 years old. Like those guys are are never available. Um, I think we said the same thing about Peter Angelo. You know, and he was a little bit older. But uh, to, to the opportunity to get a guy like this uh, is very rare. And and you know, I think the way you have to look at it is if he's not in the situation he is. Uh, you know, is he is he even available? You know, the answer is probably not. So, um, you know, that's that's the price we've got to pay short term. And uh, you know, I, I'm confident in our group that we're gonna find a way to scratch and claw and keep ourselves relevant here. Time for a couple more for Pete. Next, we'll go to Justin Emerson, Las Vegas Sun. Hey, Justin. Hi, Pete. Since you've arrived, um, I believe you did that press conference in Ottawa. Um, the team has gotten Alec Martinez, Robin Leonard, Alec Trangelo, now Jack Eichel. I mean, what does it say about kind of ownership and management's commitments going out and getting these big players and improving the team every chance they get? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, when I took the job, um, I, I had zero hesit hesitancy uh, to jump on board, and it was for exactly that reason. Uh, there, there's been no bones made about the fact that this organization wants to win, and they want to win now and they're willing to provide whatever resources to the players, to the coaches, uh, to the fans in, in order to uh, chase a Stanley Cup. And, um, you know, there, there's casualties to those decisions, uh, but they're always with the mind of moving the team a step closer to, to winning a Stanley Cup, which is, which is the hardest trophy in pro sports to win. So. Um, you know, that, that's what I love about the organization. Final question for Pete DeBoer this morning goes to David Shane, Las Vegas Review Journal. Hey, David. Hi, Pete. Uh, now that it's done, I'm, I'm just kind of curious from the locker room perspective and your perspective, there was a lot of noise kind of building up and, and sort of around this. How much did you guys hear that? How much, you know, are you looking forward to maybe moving forward and players maybe not being on edge about you know whether they might be involved in this. Yeah, 
Absolutely, I think it's human nature uh, when, when something like this is is uh, being rumored. Um, you know, guy, guys have families, they have kids. Uh, you know, that, that's always a little off-putting. Uh, at the same time, you know, we have a veteran group. We got a lot of great leadership in that room. I think, you know, with adding Jack, now we've got you know former captains and Pacioretty, current captain, and or Peter Angelo Pacioretty, current captain with Stone. Uh, Jack's a, a former captain. Martinez has multiple Stanley Cups. He, these guys get it. They've been around. Um, they do a great job with our group of uh, keeping them focused.